you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. With thunderstorms raging over the last 24 hours, many people in the surrounding area have suffered immense property damage, and some have even found themselves stuck inside of their vehicles and homes. Some roads have also been completely blocked off due to fallen trees and power lines. Police, firefighters, and other first responders have been on the scene since early this morning in an attempt to direct traffic, clean up damage, and assist those in need. Um, it's basically just been a waiting game all morning that we've been here, just trying to keep everyone safe and not knowing really what the situation was. I think waiting for AEP to show up, but... They're eight to ten hours away, so... I think everywhere's flooded for them, and maybe we thought that we could just test and see if the lines were safe and we could maybe help us and everyone else get out of here. This whole situation is on the more extreme side for me personally. I don't think I've ever seen anything like this. How fast the flood happened, uh, the damage, the power line snapping. Relief efforts are currently underway by volunteers and local officials. The police and fire departments in Jenkins are helping their community as much as possible during the citywide flooding and power outages by encouraging everyone to stay home while water levels continue to decrease. It's been a busy morning. Uh, about two o'clock this morning was when we got the first calls of, of flooding in, in, in our city. Uh, we came out, we've been making several runs as far as checking on, on flooding. Uh, people that are calling in saying that they're, they're caught in their houses. Um, a lot of it we couldn't get to right away because we do have several down trees. We've got some down power lines. Power is out in the city. No idea when it's going to be back up and running. Uh, but for right now, the, the power is out throughout the city. Uh, we, we have no reports of anybody missing. Uh, we've got no reports of any injuries. Uh, we do have a ton of property damage. Uh, the uh, state has been made aware of that. Uh, our state government in Frankfurt has been made aware. Uh, our mayor right now is out running around uh, checking on things himself. He's made a lot of calls and contacts as well. Uh, so we got a whole bunch of guys that are working really hard. There's just not a whole lot we can do right now. Mother Nature is, is in charge, not us. The, the biggest piece of advice I can get is please just stay home. Uh, I understand that, that water's coming up into your house, uh, but at this, at this time, unless it's life-threatening, we can't get to too many people. So the biggest thing is everybody just stay home watch it on the news don't come out and see see it for yourself because then you're going to be a casualty as well so just just stay home stay off the roads uh, red cross can be contacted if you have lost stuff in your house uh, contact your insurance companies about things like that uh, after this is all over with our mayor has already started doing things as far as getting up with uh, people that can do funds to help people out uh, with their relief and stuff uh, so he will have things uh, on our city website or at City Hall, they can contact him there. But we have to have at least a couple days before we can get things going. Reporting for Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.